What's up, A gang? And welcome back to Yell Talk, the podcast where we talking about everything, baby. And look who we got in the building with us today. It's a Lily. Oh, oh, and she ain't got her phone. Well, she got her phone, but she promised that she wasn't going to be on her phone this time. Yeah, I'm not going to be on my phone this time. I'm going to give her uh, like 15 minutes of my time. 15 minutes. Now, y'all know these podcasts be longer than 15 minutes, and she's trying to give your girl 15 minutes of her time. Y'all see how they be doing me? But anyway, I'm going to have to take what I can take. It's literally like 10 o'clock at night right now because I'm working on her time. I got to go back to college tomorrow. And, yeah, our f- Thanksgiving break is going to be over with yeah. but i'll be back y'all for another podcast in december so be looking out for a december podcast because yeah, I, I come back in december yeah i, heard her I had say to that. bribe my mama my mama had to bribe me to get on here so yeah i better see some likes in the comments yeah she bribed me for something she seen that she wanted to buy talking about if you buy it i'll get on the podcast and i'll act right so look look who on the podcast so what y'all think she bought it and look, I'm not even dressed properly. I'm not my, either. My my hair is decent, but it, it could have been better. I ain't even curly. So if y'all see some some leave out or some left out, don't say business. nothing. You anti-black. <laughs> Girl, me, I ain't even called my edges down or nothing. We got the dog sitting here on a cot. So if y'all hear any whining, huffing and puffing, they mad. They mad. And they being rude. They sitting here looking at us. They just look like you hear Ben already starting. And he looking. He didn't switch positions. He pat, uh, what is it called? Pat itching his. Yeah, he itching his neck right now. Like, yeah, he just one of them kids that got ADHD apparently. So, anyway, we're going to get this podcast started. And we really didn't even rehearse what we're going to talk about for real. So we just gonna let the conversation flow. But first, I'm gonna ask you, how is school? School is good. It's stressful though. I should have changed my major before um, I started this semester. But we're gonna finish out strong. We got three more weeks, so I need to get my grades right. Mm-hmm. How are your grades, Miss Ma'am? Um, my grades is good, but they could be better in at least one class because I'm struggling hard in one class. That's what really made me think like. I'm going to change my major. I'm tired of this. What's your major right now? Because um, everybody always asks. Well, my major right now is medical science, which I changed it to. Uh, oh, Lord. What did I change it to? Um, right. Exercise science. That's what I changed it to, exercise science. Do, so. Do you have a plan on what you're going to do? Nope. Yeah. We're going to just figure it out. I, y'all lucky I ain't you no business. Uh, we, you, y'all know how I feel about that. We not spending all that money. Well, we ain't spending nothing. But... We not wasting our time going to school for no damn business degree. And no no shade to anybody who got a business degree. The only reason why I feel that way is because I have done a lot more than somebody with a business degree, and I ain't even got a degree to my name. So that just tells you right there that, in my opinion, a business degree is a waste of time and paper. Yeah, but again, no shade to nobody that's going to school um to get a business degree ain't nothing wrong with it ain't nothing wrong with it's never anything wrong with continuing your education if you want to spend that time and money go for it billy just be thinking he's slick he showed me thinking he's slick he too smart for his own good um what about track season what about um track season it's cooking up it's cooking we in the kitchen ain't gonna lie we in the kitchen Uh, that's what i like to hear um cooking up we was um I didn't like how I was doing last year. Well, I was a freshman, and coming from a school that I won everything, it was kind of like, mm-hmm. I'm getting beat, and I didn't like that. But at the same time, I'm in college is a different ball game. You're going against 21-year-olds, people that's older than you. So it's really yourself. Like, you need to compete with yourself, but you're yep. still competing. But I don't know. As I just long feel as like better than what you was – the yeah. season prior like as long as you're you know advancing with each season that come you know that you're doing your part one thing i could say about leah was last summer you killed it like going to the gym going to the track doing workouts she was working out with her dad um i was going into the gym with her and she was going hard like for real for real so you got to give yourself a pat on the back for that because baby 
you did not sit you did not sit up in the house and ain't do nothing all summer she actually yeah. put in that work and it's showing i tried to well it's like i feel like i finally found out that you gotta put the work in you can't just it's mm-hmm. not gonna come to you so me putting the work in is over the summer is stepping what people might not do like people might not be putting the work in over summer right so I'm bettering myself by putting that work in by the summer and any chance I can I try to put that work in even like on breaks like now right it be testing you a little bit I ain't gonna it lie do. it do be testing it you do it was but, tough tough trying to find the time to get into the gym yeah because got my little job now so right I don't have just all the time on my hands and daylight savings or uh. it's I don't know what it is, but it's daylight like, like it's getting dark early. So. Yeah, so why is it dark at five o'clock? It's it's dark at like four. At four, it's like the about to be dark. It's about to be dark, like legit about to be dark, and that kind of plays on your mental sometimes too, uh, because you're not getting that vitamin D from the sun that you normally would get when it stays, you know, daylight outside for longer. Yeah, did you, seasonal did you, depression. Did you experience any seasonal depression? Mm, not really. Okay. Or like some people don't. I mean some people don't. Lexi did. Lexi came home was like, mm, I think I think that little seasonal depression that we've been talking about, I think it hit me a little bit. Mine's hit early. Mine's normally hit around this time of the year. Mine's hit like end of September. And maybe it's because I turned 40 and I was like depressed about turning 40 because maybe I am old out here in these streets right now. Um, So as far as like the new the newcomers that that joined the team, because y'all have a bigger team this year than which I did last year. You think it's going to be y'all going to have a a good team? I think we're going to have a decent team. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of newcomers and we have more events. So like they filled out with the events. So it's like. I'm not doing everything. Like, yeah, thank God. But I am a multi-talented person, so yeah. I still am going to be doing everything, but not as much. I feel like. So hopefully, this brings us like we are really close to. We can supposedly we can win conference. Mm. I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be a good year. They brought in some good people. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. Western. I see you. Y'all know I be at all the track meets, so I'm gonna be there seeing what. Uh, what well, Weston brought to the team uh, this season, but yeah, you are a multi-talented athlete. That's a flex. That is hands down. That's a flex. When you're good at multiple events, yeah. that's a flex. Because sometimes you get people that's like only good at one thing. So when you're in high school and you only doing one event, it's kind of hard to get recruited. You know, when you not when they're not able to place you in multiple events and get the most out of you as an athlete. So, if you know, if they recruit you for the 200 and literally all you can run is the 200, yeah, they might look over you a little bit. Well, I, if you got an, I don't think so. I feel like you can run one of them, but you have to be good at that one event. Like some yeah, people, that's true. You're right. You're some right. people run multiple events, but right. are they good at all of them? Like you have to have, right. you have to be good. Because, like, Destiny, for example. So, Destiny is uh, a young lady we met from TikTok. We love Destiny. Um, But she runs, she was running for University of Houston. Now she's running for, for, um, where's she at now? Texas Tech. Is she at Texas Tech? Why is, why I thought it was Texas A&M. Is that not a thing? That is a thing, but I don't think that's where she's at. I think she's at Texas Tech. Oh, okay. Um, And she runs the 100-meter hurdles. But, baby... She is fire at the 100 meter hurdle. So what what's Le- what Leah is saying is 100 percent correct. Like she does that one event, and I'm not sure if Destiny do any other events. Not that I know of, but she does that one event, and she kills that one event. I don't even know her times off the top of my head, but they fast. Homegirls, they fast. They Home girl. fast. She fast, fast. She was killing it. Um. So yeah. Um. So you ready? So you feel like. You feel like you're ready. What's no, I think the only reason is, like, I feel like I I want to see my improvement. That's why yeah. I'm really ready because I'm like, I went, I worked over the summer. I've been doing everything yeah. to get better. So I want to see it myself. Right now, we're not really competing. We're just, you know, practicing still. And our first meet is the Saturday coming up. Well, y'all won't know because I don't is know. It the, is it I don't Saturday? know. No, it's a Saturday coming up. Today is Saturday, so it's next Saturday. Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, I don't know when my mom gonna put this video out, but you might be seeing a vlog, but you might not, because I don't. I said they shouldn't come to my first meet because I'm just running a 200, because I just became a 200 runner. I'm yeah, yeah. I, ain't like, I don't like great. the 200 at first, and it's in an indoor track, a bank track, and I'm tall. It's not bank tracks, not really for tall people because of the curves and the tight, oh, like okay. how tight it is. So, but you know, it's gonna be hard for us not to show up, not to pop out for a meet. True, but and it's in Chicago, so that's what yeah. a five hour drive for us. Although I hate like four. It's only it's five. You think it's four? four? I hate road trips. When I say I hate road trips, I hate road trips. But when it comes to these kids, oh baby, I'm road tripping it to wherever. I we we gonna be on that road, um, unless Daddy gonna put us on the plane. I mean, I'm yeah. not I'm not against that one either. Y'all could really take the train to Chicago. It's, and it'll still it'll be five hours if we take the train. That'll just be oh, for fun. Yeah, probably not. Because no, the train may stops and stuff. Yeah, well, because you gotta make the train back and all that. It's we might as well just drive up there. I mean, yeah, the train at least we can like sleep and and chill and not have to. I don't True. know. We'll see. It'll be hard. I understand what you're saying that you only run in one event, so don't come to the first meet. But it's gonna be hard for but us. But our second meet, not to show up. I'm doing everything. Yes, y'all probably hear that. That's my stomach. I'm sorry, y'all. But <laughs> he's growling. Yeah. Um, the second meet, I'm doing way more things. Like I got, I'm probably in like, I say four events. I'm doing long triple, two hundred. Prob- we'll see Damn. by the first meet. If I don't do good in the first meet indoors, then I'm just not gonna do two hundred. But I'm pretty sure I can do good. Break the school record. Mm, mm. But y'all heard it here first. I I think the second week I do the oh, sixty hurdles, which I yeah I know I don't like hurdling like that. I yeah. really just don't. I be wanting to give it up, but I'm not that bad at it it's in our conference. You're not. You're not bad at in it in our conference. I don't like the fact that you. I I listen. I'm going to be real honest. This is my podcast, so I can say what I want. And whoever feels some type of way about it, that's their business, not mine. I don't feel like you have proper training for hurdles. I feel like if you had a good hurdle coach, you can be fired. I mean, but it's me too. Like, I don't have confidence in hurdling either Yeah. because I don't hurdle like that. And my heart, like, I don't, when I was in high school, we didn't do them drills. All we did was set up two hurdles and go yeah. over them. So all them, it, all this is new to me. Like, the drills and all yeah. that stuff. But a good coach is going to bring that confidence out of you, I'm just yeah. saying. But I, I think And I hate hurdling with a group of people. That's what we do right now, and I do not like doing that. Because first off, I do, it's, it's not embarrassing, but you... I'm the type of person that need one on one. Yeah, I yeah, can't be do. with a lot of people. She do, and then I embarrass myself too much. Like, nah, I can't do a drill. Oh, and everybody watch me. Nah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I wish you would get out of that. I wish you would get out of that. But I understand. I like. I think your jump coach is a is a good is a a good coach. I think, um, I think he brought some stuff out of you that wasn't brought out of you before. Yeah. And then he put you in triple jump. You have never triple jump. But to be honest, the reason why we never tripped off of putting you in triple jump is because you was clumsy as hell. Like, you were so uncoordinated as mm-hmm. a teen. Well, I mean, you still, well, you'll be 20, so you ain't technically, you're not going to be a teenager no more. But as a, a younger teenager, you were so uncoordinated that we knew that it wasn't going to be no teaching you to get down there and going through them phases for triple jump. So that's why we never thought to put you in triple jump. But he took the chance and put you in triple jump. And I remember that first meet. It was embarrassing. We, your dad was in them stands going off. He was like, they they going to hurt her. They going to cause her to. Because y'all couldn't even make it to the damn line. No, y'all couldn't make it into the pit. And daddy was pissed. Like, daddy was about to be like, no, she not doing this. Because y'all going to end up injuring her. But um, we saw it through. And you started killing it for it to be your first time. Like, yeah. You not knowing um, enough about it? Like, you still learning? I think you're good. Um, Me and my teammate, we placed in conference first year ever doing yep. it. Um, People that first year don't usually jump over, well, 12, 12 meters. I don't know what's good in triple jump. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Learning. I just be jumping. <laughs> I really don't mean no man. But what's, like, elite, I guess, is, like, 13, 14 meters. But in our conference – that's pretty good so mm. i could always get better everybody thinks that triple jump i can like it could be my main event but mm. 
I don't really like it like that. You know? It's because it's too technical, and yeah. I don't like. Yeah. I just like running and jumping. Yeah. I you tried. can get a run and jump. My coach tried to give me the triple jump in high school, and I and I'm with you. It was too technical. I was like, ah, oh, nah, I can't process all of that. Like, I can't. It's it's fun though, cause it's not like it makes you. It's more of a. Um, I feel like it's fun because it's different. It's kind of like adrenaline. Like it's that, you know, what I'm saying that adrenaline kind of pumping, and I I can I know what I'm trying to say, but it's hard for me to kind of put it in words, but I kind of um, understand what you're saying. I think, yeah, because it's like a new, something new to me. That's I've true. I've been long jumping all my life. You have. Literally. Damn, you have been long jumping for a long, long all my time. Life. Dang. Y'all, the first time that she started uh, hurdling, though. So, oh, Lord. Is that Lexi coming down here? I think so. She looks sound like she on FaceTime. Who is calling me? I don't know who this number is. Why everybody want to call me? What is an area code? I know that person, but I'm not answering because we on a podcast. Oh. <laughs> I had to think about my answer. I don't know who you like that. I ain't answer the phone to people. I don't know like that. But oh. back to what I was saying, I don't know what I was saying. I'm not gonna lie. No, so when you first start hurling, so the fun police had a real close friend named Rod. What was Rod Marshall? Um, he known Rod Marshall since high school. And yeah, we all know that the fun police is kind of old, so he knew him for a long time. And Rod was a track coach, or he ran track. Um, he ran collegiate track. I forget like the his whole career or whatever. I just know he ran collegiate track and he was supposed to be like one of the best. And his, he has three daughters and they, his three daughters and Aaliyah, they were super young. I want to say you and me and uh, Elise, Elise and uh, Evie. Y'all was what? Eight, nine, 10, something, something like, that. like that. Something like that. And Rye came up with this brilliant idea to try them her to try Aaliyah and his youngest daughter on the hurdles no his two or all of his daughters I don't remember he had this brilliant idea to try them on hurdles us knowing that Leah is clumsy and uncoordinated as hell we like mm, I don't know so he like worked with them for a little while and Leah just picked up on it like real quick and the first big meet that she went to was in Florida at the ESPN world champ no espn championship whatever the the, the something. something like that the the disney uh complex you know the sports complex or whatever and she plays second there first time was that your first time running hurdles or like your second time running hurdles something, or something? like that she was like nine years old um and she did really well and from there we just stuck with it we was just every season it was hurdles 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 now ride well, is no longer with us um, oh yeah, he's no longer with us. But every time you hurdle, I always think like if Rod was still here, like how excited, how proud he would be of you. Even not even with just hurdles, but long jump too. If he would have been so proud, like Rod was one of your number one, you know, behind Dad was like one of your number one fans. And he saw the potential in you when everybody else on the track scene here in St. Louis, the summer track scene, you were overlooked. There was coaches that didn't want to put you on relays, didn't want to work with you on, you know, other individual races. Um, ride girls was getting asked to come to teams and to, you know, compete here and get on this relay. And you were always overlooked. But Ride never overlooked you. Like, never. He always saw that potential in you. And he always knew that you were going to be great. And look where you at right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. I quit for a little minute because of that, I think. Yeah. Because I didn't really want to run because I'm like, Bro, that's the only person I knew. Yeah. And he the one who coached me for, like... A long time. Literally my whole life. And yeah. then, I don't know, I think I quit for a little minute, and I came back when I was in eighth grade. Yeah. So... Because it's, t- it's hard to coach your own kid. So, we all know the Fun Police was a track coach for forever. But coaching your own kid, 
is the worst. Like you, you don't get the same out of your kid as somebody else get out of your kid. So uh, ride coaching her, you know, was the best thing for for us. So we wouldn't have to beat on her because baby, it was plenty of days that I wanted to beat the sleeves off of you because it was the eye rolling, the it's talking back and the huffing and puffing, but you would never do that to somebody else. So yeah. that's why he coached. And then he coached you in basketball. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was not sticking to basketball. I, yeah. after that, the, well, after he passed, I, you was like, I'm not playing I, no yeah, more. I was like, I'll come back to track, but basketball, no. Because I barely wanted to play basketball back then, but he, like. Yeah. He encouraged brought, you. Yeah, he encouraged me to play it. Yeah. So, I mean, I wasn't, I'm not going to lie, I was not good at basketball. I you were good at, you were a defense defensive player. You wasn't an offense, like, when you went on offense, it was something totally different because you, you, you know, had poor ball handling skills. You you really didn't shoot. And I would just, I always would give the ball to somebody. I would never It keep was the like ball. you act like the ball was hot. Like, as soon as somebody throw the ball at you, you was trying to hear it and, and throw it back to somebody else like the ball was on fire or something. I like, not, you were I scared of like the ball. I basketball like that. I mean, I should have stuck with it because I feel like my yeah. height yeah. and all that could have I think me over time. I guess, over time, you would have been great. Over yeah, time. but I was young. I you was, was really young. You was like nine or ten. But I did not like it. And then I got hit in the eye one time. Yeah. yeah I didn't. <laughs> nope. Yeah. wasn't for me. But I should have. I feel like track is a hard spirit. So maybe I should have went to the basketball right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have I think if Ryan was still here, you probably would have still been playing basketball. Yeah. Because um, his daughters was really heavy in basketball. Yeah. And it was good. Yeah. They, they was were. young and good. Yeah. They were. I miss them. They're they're grown down. Yeah. Every time I see them, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe y'all this old like this. Like, where did time go? But yeah, that's why I say like certain coaches, good coaches bring out stuff in athletes that you know other people can't bring out. They yeah. know what buttons to press. So I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity when I was younger mm -hmm. for to get introduced to hurdles and all that because yeah. I wouldn't be running track. I would not be running track no. because I didn't find nothing I was good at. Okay, well, long jump I was good at. But and, and high jump because when you went to Junior Olympics, what you placed? Like, I forget, um, you you placed. Did you get on the podium in high jump? I think I did, but I didn't like I fell in that bar. I didn't like falling that bar. I want, I'm going to name you going to make me go like look up bar. your stats to see what you placed in Junior Olympics when you was, I think you I was, was nine. I was so young. I was like eight or nine. Yeah. And then I used to run the 800. You were good at the 800, though. I was for a little kid. I mean, yeah, true, true. I, mean, I was good for a little kid. It's, that's how I be seeing, like, people with kids, like, little small kids, and they, like, beating everybody, and they be like, my, my kid this, my kid that. It's like, they're six. <laughs> like, what? They're six. Wait like, till okay, they grow up. I get it. Okay, don't get me wrong, because I'm going to be proud of my kid, too, okay? No matter how old they are, I'm going to be proud of them. But some, to some extent, I'm very realistic as well. So we knew, like... When you was doing certain stuff back when you was young and you be good at it, we knew that, like, okay, she's good because she's this age. Like Lexi with gymnastics. She was hella good, and she was young. But it was like, once she get older, she start having a teenager weight, and she start filling out, and she got boobs, and it, it's going to slow her, uh, you know, down a little bit. So, but that's neither here nor there. Um, that's what happens when you come from two athletic parents. Y'all, it is true. You put two athletic people together, you're going to make some athletic babies. Now, Lennon was an exception. Lennon is very, Lennon is athletic. Lennon is built athletic. That dude is like, what, 6'1", um, nice broad shoulders. Like, he is built like an athlete, and he can play sports. He just does not have an interest in sports. But, yeah, you put two athletic people to get together, you gonna have some athletic babies, so you make sure when you get old. Well, don't have hey, no babies. I ain't having no kids. I, ref I refuse. I'm That's spoiled, you, you, yeah. and I want the money to myself. When I get a job and I get some good money, I'm gonna have three cars to myself. Three, maybe two. But I'm. I like switching the cars up. I was driving my mama Range Rover, 
And then I'm like, man, I might want two cars in my future yeah. lifetime because I like driving hers, but I like mine at the same time. Yeah. So keep working hard. You you you'll get that. Don't worry, y'all. Y'all gonna see me in a couple years and y'all gonna look back on this podcast and, and say like she, she definitely it. got them two cars. She said, Hey, listen, I, I believe her when she say, Well, I believe that she ain't gonna have no kids no time soon. No now, time I do believe soon. that. But if I had to choose one kid out of all three of my kids that's gonna give me grandkids. It's going to be Leah. I don't think it's going to be me. It's going to be I Leah. I feel like it's going to be a shock and it's going to be Alexa. You think it's going to be Alexa? Yes. Because y'all always, it's always the people y'all think supposedly it's going to be. And then it, the shocker will be the nah, person that the, don't. the shocker will be Lyndon. Nah, I, th- <laughs> I know Lyndon going to have some kids. You think so? Yeah. Look, Benley, sorry, I'm looking at Benley because he hear food. Anytime he hear any rattling of his life, he want to get up. It's Lexi trying to be quiet, but really not quiet. She's not quiet at all. She's actually pretty loud. She loud as hell. Y'all probably can hear her. She on With the her phone. friends she... on the phone and everything. Yeah, like, like, what are we doing? What are we can doing? Can you turn them down just a little bit? Right, you know? Um. So, as far as college life and building friendships and you know, different re- like relationships, like friendships. When I say relationships, I'm talking about in, in general, like friendships, whether it's with, a, you know, friendships with girls, whether it's dating a boy. I'm just talking about relationships in a whole. How, what is your take on building friendships in college? Mm. Are you learning a lot? I actually am because if y'all know me, I don't have friends like that. She don't. I grew up going to a mostly white school no none that's is that bad to say it's not bad i mean it's facts i, I went mean, to a mostly white school i mean a white school you was majority, like, majority white like i'm telling y'all a majority white 95 percent white it was probably two of us when i was in third grade it was probably two black people in a class and and, the, and it was and probably used the black one and the other one was mixed yeah so <laughs> it wasn't really no um Nobody I could really click to or like relate with relate because yeah. I mean I wasn't mixed. I didn't have no white in me. It was just I right. was just the only black kid. So and then I was very quiet and shy. So yeah. I didn't really have no friends. I did I do have a couple friends who I would say was my is my friends, but majority of them people I don't talk to no more. Yeah. So I think the only person that the only person that you were friends with back then that I would consider your friend, even though you don't talk to them, yeah, would be like Tanaya. Yeah, but Tanaya, no. If I we if I text her a day or two from now, or even any time, and I need it's her, like or that. like, oh, something happens, she gonna always come back, or she like not come back, but come. She go. She got your back. So yeah, like show up or yeah. Oh, you I'm her. having this for my birthday. She's she gonna are. show up. Yeah, show yeah. Up. But we don't have to talk like that. We just know what right. it is, and that's how I'm like used to. So um, the friend stuff is kind of different for me. So I have a couple yeah. friends at school, and it's like you gotta make sure you still reach out to them, and you gotta be a good friend. So I'm learning Y'all, to be a friend. I be trying to teach. I've been trying to teach Leah for a long time on the importance of being a good friend because she doesn't do it on purpose at all but she is one of those people that she don't she don't think to call she don't think to text and I'm like that this is why I've noticed that I was able to identify it in her is because I'm the same exact way I just don't think think to like I can think of you in my head I can be like oh I wonder how such and such is doing and I'll go on about my day instead of saying oh I wonder how such and such is doing oh let me just give him a call and, and see or let me just send him a shoot him a, a quick text message saying hey thinking of thinking about you you know how are things how's everybody you know something like that so that's how I was able to see that in Leah and I was like you have to it's friendships are two-way streets like if you have a friend that's steady reaching out to you and texting you and inviting you you know places and you're not doing the same eventually they're gonna be like oh she got me messed up like i ain't finna call her no more or i ain't finna invite her to nothing else or yeah but with friendships too it's not the it's both ways the phone works both ways so you can't keep on reaching out to somebody yeah i agree so that's like the only time y'all talk is if you if you reach out to them then that's a problem yeah so I'm trying to learn. I'm learning. I got a couple friends, but I'm the only bad part is they all don't. I've met all my friends in college, so we don't live next to each other. Yeah. So they live where they live, and I live in St. Louis. So it's kind of hard because I'm still like 
like even for my birthday, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I ain't got no friends in St. Louis. Yeah. So it's gonna be hard trying to figure out because everybody I know is not from here or they're back at school. So right. I'm just trying to figure out the little friends thing. I know like going to, like college helps you with a lot of friendships because mm-hmm. you meet a lot of new people. So I I still haven't found that one friend where I'm like that's oh that's I my be ride that yeah my Toya. So, yeah. it, so that's my best friend and we've been best friends since like I ain't never said grade. I had no best friend she's never had a best friend never never, never. literally never that's crazy you never had a best friend yeah. do you find it hard to build friendships and knowing that people are not trying to be friends with you because of something or like you know trying to be friends with, with you because you have a car or trying to be friends with you because you're popular on social media or trying to be friends with you because they think you have this or they think you have that do you feel like do you feel like um, you have an I issue do, with that i mean i do notice stuff um from people that know me off social media i do notice stuff but yeah i mean i feel like that everybody once they feel like like see my personality see me they see that i'm a regular person yeah so it's not really like that but i mean I, it's a lot of my friends that have seen me off the internet and like i didn't even know they knew me off of that but it's just i don't know i don't th- i think it is something to watch out for because yes. it's and i'm always in her ear i'm always yes. yelling like you know make sure you're not being used. She like, always thinks somebody's using me. Like, hey, listen, she come, she coming from one of them mamas, uh, one of them everybody jealous of you mamas. Like, she she got a problem with somebody. Are oh, they just jealous of you, honey? She got one of them mamas. But yeah, because I because I know. So that was one thing about being on social media that I regret. Like, I love it. I get to I get paid to do something that I love. Like, I absolutely love being a content creator. I like doing this. Like, this is this this is my dream job. So I love it. I am an att- att- like I'm one of those people that I have to be the center of attention and I've always been like that and I'm owning to it it is what it is like that's just me that's my personality when I walk in a room and there's a bunch of people in there you know that I'm going to stand out I'm going to make sure that I stand out but the one thing that I regret is that I've dragged my kids in this with me and I feel like they're not going to be able to have normal um what's the word i mean like what's what am i trying to say like normal not normal interactions but um i don't know like y'all have to watch out for things that i don't i already have my friends i've had friend my friends since i was elementary middle school some in high school who before this social media stuff so i know that they are here because they've been knowing you yeah, yeah they because they was here before with y'all, y'all didn't have, at least you, you didn't have the opportunity to build those friendships before this whole social media thing. So I feel like I kind of stole Billy. that away from you. So now you have to always Come be on. on the lookout. He gonna, no, he gonna, he gonna knock over the computer. Is either he gonna go back and knock it over or he gonna come in? Get up there. Climb. But yeah, I get what she's saying about the friendships. What? I'm still in the making my friendships. Even though I should have them already, um, we got to watch out. Like, me and my sister, we have, we're have growing up, so we meet new people. My mama know most of the people she she's going to meet. Yeah. She know most of them. No new friends. I don't have. No new friends. I, no, new friends. <laughs> no new friends for me, but, yeah, so I just feel like, you know. And it's a lot of, mm, mm, The fakeness. Yeah, it's a lot of that. Mm, people just be... In our new generation, people just be hating just to hate. Yeah. It don't be no reason to hate on us or no reason to hate on me. They just hating just to be hating. Hating because I got something and they don't. That's really, like, what it be. Which is crazy. But, Which is crazy. And what's more, even more crazy is them not really liking you, but act like they do. It's like, I'm it, you not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Yeah. I'm not everybody's I'm cup of tea. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But don't. I don't like when people like, oh, you don't like me, but then going to talk talk about me or uh, try to come back. But when you see me, you want to say hi and stuff. Like, I don't like that. Yeah, keep if you don't like energy. me, you just don't like me. Like, and, it's, and it's cool. Like, it don't have to be I no beef. Like. Right. But I don't, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it cordial. Yeah. I'm gonna, if I beef. see you, I'm going to be like, hey. Just because somebody is not your cup of tea does not mean that it's automatic beef. Yeah. Because I mean, like. 
we not everybody get on like we might have different not different but we might have disagreements stuff that we don't agree with or are y'all just don't click yeah or our personality is just not not what it is right like, that's fine with me but hey don't be hating and, and keep that same energy. If you don't, if you don't like me behind my back, don't like me in in front of my face. Don't yeah. go behind my back and, you know, you dislike me. And you talking and you doing this, and then when you see me, you like, ah, oh, hey, no, nah, keep the same energy. Yeah. We good. No, something funny that happened. It's it was. I'm not gonna say no names, but it was something like something happened where this person was supposed to be talking about me or said something about me, and then I had the nerve to ask me for something. Oh hell no. We I, don't do that. I thought you did. I thought you said what you said, but then you want me to do you a favor. Yeah. Nah, sorry, not. We ain't doing that. And then I, it's like, I posted something on my Instagram. If y'all follow my Instagram, y'all saw it. I forgot exactly what it said. I think it was like, people be competing with you and still be losing. Mm. You still be losing. Mm. Hey, let me stop playing. Look, creep, Billy just keep on creeping down. Get up there. Get but it, as I grow, my mama keep on saying it's grown, growing pains. Growing pains. As I'm growing up, I I'm starting to see this stuff. Like, yeah, I see how people just just don't like you. Just just yeah. not. And I've be been liking. warning her her whole life, and it's and it's taken you're almost twenty for yeah. you to just now starting to realize what it is that I've been telling you all these years. I can literally look at, like, if I'm around somebody that, okay, she finds a friend and I'm around them, I immediately can say, I ain't feeling that person, that ain't your friend, or, okay, I, I, I mess with them, I like them. Like, they cool people, they cool people. She be saying that. Literally. I'm like, how do you know? And then, and then, how do you know? And then eventually, you realize that, that they wasn't friend. your friend. Yes, I know. I, honey, I know. I'd have been around the block a couple of times. I didn't dealt with fake people. I didn't dealt with people talking behind my back and then trying to be friends with me in my face. I didn't dealt with people trying to use me for because you know I had a car at the time or I had you know because me and when me and dad got together I was young I didn't have a car daddy had a car so I'm whipping his I'm in high school whipping daddy car I'm, I'm dating a grown ass man I'm whipping his truck at school and then you know everybody want to ride I had somebody befriend me because I had some Jordans see them Jordans with the patent leather on it them been out them them Jordans been circulating for years, on and off. They just keep recreating them. I had the red and black ones, and I had a girl in middle school who befriended me and then asked me to borrow, asked me if she can wear my Jordans. I'm like, okay, cool. Gave her the Jordans. Do you know she took my Jordans, never gave them back to me, and, and dared me to ask her for them? And I'm not confrontational at all. I've never been confrontational. Now, if you step to me, then we have a problem. If you come for my kids, I'm confrontational all day, every day. But in that type of situation, I was like, you know what? She can have them. Like, straight stole. Like, I can't even say she stole them because I gave them to her. <laughs> <laughs> gave yeah. her my shoes and she didn't give me my shoes back. And I ain't never, I haven't talked ain't to her since. nothing like that. Nah. As, so, my stuff is my stuff. Right. Even, I'm not... One thing about me, I share something I don't care about. Yeah. But something I like that I don't want back, I'm not, yeah. no. Give me that. Right. Give so that. that's why I say I've been around the block a few times. So I know how to identify when something, you know, when it's somebody in your presence that I feel like shouldn't be there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make the decision for you. I mean, I can't, you grown. I'm not going to see, say, Oh, cut that person off or stop talking to that person. I'm a, I'm a voice my opinion about them. I'm a point out the things that I see wrong. And then I'm gonna let you figure it out from there. Yeah. It's up to you to, you know, to say you ain't messing with that person or, or whatever yeah. the case may be. What about dating in college? Don't, I think we talked about this in the last podcast. Don't do it. Please. <laughs> Please don't do it. Bentley. No. Sit. I'm just... I feel like we is too, we're too young. Mm -hmm. And we all trying to figure out life. And everybody trying to figure out who they like, what they like, what they like in people, what they don't like, mm -hmm. who what who attracts them, da da da, da. That it's just, you just don't... Even if you do do it, don't put your heart into it yeah. and stuff because 
it's college. It's just right. like it's just like high school. You think a high school relationship won't last? Now some of them do. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But it's just you gotta yeah. pick your battles. I feel like in college you gotta pick your battles. Yeah. I mean at that at this age you should be dating and having fun. I'm not saying, you know, be doing the nasty with everybody, but I'm just going to put that out there. Don't be no little thoughts or nothing. But date, you know, not saying date a million people. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying don't put 100% in anything. One per- yeah, yeah, true. But, you know, if you if it's going to be right, y'all, you're going to know it's going to be right. Yeah. So you're going to know. But... Yeah. Me personally, I ain't dating nobody in no college. Yeah. Because um, in a girl's perspective, all you boys, little boys, this is what we're going to put, because that's what y'all act like. Little boys. Y'all little just boy. don't, I don't know. I feel like everybody, uh, in my experience, everybody has a girlfriend or has some at home. Right. So I'm not going to put my all and you finna go back home to yo, yeah. Yay, yay, yo, yay, yay. And then you be getting freaking messages and inboxes. Yeah, something funny because my mama didn't tell me this. I don't know if she's going to put it in the podcast, but I, I guess um, somebody's girlfriend or something was in my DMs. I didn't see it, y'all, because I yeah. don't look at my requests. I didn't I'm realize that. I didn't realize that they erase. So, you know, the, the DMs that go into like. The request? Is it is it on the yeah, request? request? So I check. I do not check her regular messages on Instagram. She know I be. I don't want to see none of that. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I don't want. I don't I, be doing nothing to be. I don't know honest. what she be doing. I don't want to see all that. She but see all my yes. However, I do check the stuff that's going into like the spam or the requested, whatever it's called. The, for the, um for brand deals for any brands that are reaching out to her. Um, anybody that's trying to collab, collab <clears throat> things like that. I am her manager. <laughs> Cause she don't have one yet so i am trying to manage her social medias and stuff so i do periodically go in there and i look and it was a message from somebody and i don't even remember like the name of it or, and oh and if if i would have known that they delete after a certain amount of time she i would have screenshot i would have screenshot it yeah i'm so mad that i didn't screenshot it and we probably gonna get a message after this podcast because obviously they watch all of our videos they they listen to the podcast they are fans and we appreciate y'all for tuning in and helping us get them views up boo boo but no really though we appreciate everybody <laughs> we don't pre- we talking we being messy we playing but we I'm really not. do appreciate y'all for watching our videos and tuning in all the real supporters coming out right but she made us she had a message and she came for leah she, she came for me hard i said dang baby what did i do yeah, that bad I'm she sorry. said yo wanna be famous mama and i was like what the hell did how what, did i get <laughs> dragged into this how, how did i get dragged into this it was it was bad like it you know what i'm saying it's 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 a form of cyber bullying and i really have very low tolerance for it and i let it slide then because of the circumstances of who is involved with the situation i actually like this young man i'm not gonna say like but he's a cool dude and i don't want to i guess i don't want to make blow the situation up just because of him um, but honestly, if it happens again, I'm gonna have to start making some people famous. I'm gonna have to start giving them the clout that they looking for because obviously they looking for some clout. So, um, leave her alone. Like it's that simple. Like if you have an issue with the guy that you're dealing with, like take that up with that guy. Don't, don't come. It'd be like, the only reason I'm, t- uh, it'd be like, dang, what was I going to say? It'd be like, it really don't have nothing to do with me. It don't. It doesn't have nothing to do with me. So little situ- whatever y'all got going on, we all little situation. You need to take it up to him. Right. Why are you coming for me? Right. You act like I did something. I ain't doing that. Right. Coming but for you talking about you. It's just funny to me. I feel like it's so funny to me because it be really. It is. It really don't be nothing going on. Right. It's funny to you, but for me, to me as a mom, like I get in. I told y'all, I'm confrontational when it comes to my kids. Like. I don't care. I said this in the last podcast, and I'm going to say it again. I don't care. 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 No, I told my mama so confrontational. I don't, I'm, I, about her kids. Y'all will never know. But somebody told me, I remember something happened, and they was like, oh, you get your mama involved. T- you get your mama and your parents involved in everything. And who going to check me? Hey. No, who going to check her? I really don't, but 
it's certain situations where you're not going to just not get your parents or get uh, somebody that had got your back involved because you're not just going to. That's the thing. Like, like what? excuse me that y'all don't have parents that are going to go hard for y'all. Like, excuse the hell out of me. But I raised my kids to know that they have somebody to come to. When they are in a jam or they in a situation that they don't know how to figure out or they don't know how to get out of it or they need somebody to talk to, who, why wouldn't you call your mom? If she's going through something, like she went through something at the beginning of the school year, it was hard for her. And nobody had her back but me and her dad, of course. But, of course, she she talks to me about a lot more than what she talks to her dad. Nobody had her back out of all of the friends that she had, out of all the people that knew about the situation, all the people that had information about the situation. Nobody stood up for her. Nobody came forward and cleared her name. Nobody did nothing and didn't care how it was affecting her and how she had to deal with it in private by herself with nobody else to talk to but me. So for anybody to tell you anything about coming to your parents, that's bullshit. And the next time they say something, tell them to mind their fucking business. Because at the end of the day, she ain't got nobody but us. Ain't nobody going to come to her defense but us. Ain't nobody going to protect her but us. So if she ain't got nobody else to call, she going to call mama and daddy. She going to call mama and daddy. And that's why I'm like, it don't, it's not affecting nobody else. So why, you know what I'm saying, why even care if she talked to her mom and her dad about situations? I wish, and this is no shade to my mom because my mom was a, she was a fantastic mom and she did the best that she could of us growing up. But my goal is to be the parent that I needed when I was a kid. I didn't talk to my mom about stuff because I didn't feel comfortable. Not saying that maybe I maybe I could have went to her, you know, for stuff. I don't know. But I didn't feel comfortable to talk to my mom about stuff. So there was things that had happened that I she never knew. I was molested by my uncle. My mom never knew because I never felt comfortable enough to tell her until I was in my 20s. Um, I had a pregnancy at the age of 14 that went on for too long to where it was a two it was a two day process for me to uh, to abort the pregnancy because, again, I was not comfortable enough to talk to my mom about it. Um, I can't even it's so many things that I went through. I went through uh, depression all growing up. I didn't realize that I was depressed until I became an adult and I dealt with depression as an adult that I realized that, damn, all those years as a teenager, I was depressed. So I didn't talk to my mom where my mom probably could have figured it out back then. You know, when I had the situation with the pregnancy, my mom could have probably figured it out early on if I would have just went to her. With the molestation, my mom probably would have made sure I wasn't around that person any more than what I was if I had went to her. So it's crazy to me that there are teenagers or young people out there that really don't communicate with their parents about nothing. That's just crazy to me. So don't ever let nobody make you feel like you're stupid or you're childish or any of that because you communicate with your parents. Everybody call me, y'all. I don't know, this generation, I don't know. No, let me stop playing. But It is. Um, this is generation. People, everybody, everybody I ever talked to or had any type of, like, I'm talking about boys, mm -hmm. they always call me childish. Y'all, am I childish? You're 19. I know. I be saying I'm, like not, I'm 19. How y'all want me to act? But I ain't going to lie. I ain't trying to mess with nobody younger than me or the same age as me. I, I try to talk to everybody older than me. Mm. But, I mean, I can be a cougar sometimes. Let me stop playing. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Sometimes you can. I told her. I was like, you, you – going through this dumb stuff with with an exception of one person because somebody jumped in my comments when i made a a tiktok about not meeting oh some of and that friend person boys. is anonymous anonymous because the person that the tiktok was basically around it like i don't know who that person is okay. so whoever you are Good Mind try. your business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, put it out there that we ain't, you know, these young men are being raised, you know, and we not meeting their parents. But Lexi's little friend boy, we met his mom and his, he has a really cool mom. Seems like he comes from a really good household. Um, and I had made the comment that, you know, we don't meet the parents. And somebody was like, what about, do you want me to say his name? 
No. Okay. What about such and such? Um, you didn't like him. He treated your daughter good. And it was like, I clearly said in the video, I said with an exception of one person, he yeah. was that, that one person. But anyway, he's an exception to all of this. So you're dealing with situations <clears throat> with people, and I'm just going to put it out there, who are not on the same playing field as you. And I and I be so mad about that I because mean, you allow you allow people. I feel like you allow people to bring you down to their level to make you feel like you're less than, or to make you or like they trying to like. I mean, I'm, I'm I humble you saying, or something. But not all of them. It was we talking about. I think we talking about one specific. Well, that I can think of like that right she can away. think of right now. One specific person. And he wasn't. His parents didn't raise him right. I think he got beat as a child because he didn't act right. He don't act right at all, and he still don't act right. But besides the point, because he's neither here or there because he's irrelevant. Yeah, very. We're not gonna even give him that much irrelevant. that much but time on this podcast. But not on everybody. I get what my mama's saying, but I feel like. My mama, she be going hard, like a little too hard, cause she, you gotta let me, let me experience, see what I like and what I don't like. If you go, she can't like say. I feel like my mama be back on that. She think everybody jealous of me, mama. That thing, like everybody jealous of you, mama. They are. That no, thing, like back it. on that. She thinks like, I be feeling like my mama think. I know we like we on a different. Y'all Mother are not better than nobody. But Don't get me wrong. Y'all are yeah, not better feeling, than nobody. Yeah. No. I'm never going to raise you to think that you're better than anybody, but I'm also going to raise you to... All right, Cairo. To match... Energies? Match energies and match, like, levels, like, playing fields. Like, you can't be here and trying to pursue somebody that's here, but... I take that back because they can come off kind of wrong. They can come off wrong because the one person that you know that I, I like and I'm a always like, that's going to be a, hey, he, he part of the family. I don't care. You can move on with somebody else and get married. He always going to be part of our family. We're always going to consider him part of our family. Um, he had that he has the potential not only does he have the potential but he encourages you yeah he, you know what i'm saying he he roots for you like he like, wants you to be a better version of yourself like he's not trying um, to bring you down what happened today i'm not gonna lie i had work today and i called oh, i called off he on like he's like you could have been getting money like you're sitting around like da, da, da. Yeah. it's not like he know like okay now he know me and he know that I mean, I can always go back and get go get the money again, but right. he's just like, you gotta be on your paper, like yeah. you gotta boss up if you want. You want to do stuff like right, me too, you right, know? So and be responsible. He told me I wasn't responsible because I didn't exactly. Do so that's what I'm talking about. So y'all together as a team, y'all can y'all can do some amazing things. But when you have somebody that's so focused on what you got in you know, who you are and trying to make you feel like you ain't nobody and you ain't special because you on social media because everybody know you don't mind. You ain't nobody to and me. Or when I be telling people, I be like, it's really, I'm, I feel like I'm a normal person. It's really my mom with the clout. I'm just her child. So when all this, all this quiet. stuff don't even apply to me, I feel like, like it applies to me, but people are making it seem like I'm Kylie Jenner or something. I'm right, not that famous, so I'm not even famous. I don't consider myself famous. I, my mama, maybe. I don't consider myself famous. I, I feel like I'm, I have, I'm popular to a certain no, extent. No, I feel like we're known. Known, like, we're well known. That's there. You go. That's the what. That's the phrase I was looking for. Well I feel known. like we're well known. I don't known. feel like we're famous. I, feel, I don't feel like we. I mean, we do have, like, I'm not gonna lie. We have stuff that normal people you would see on a regular basis yeah. wouldn't have but not saying that that makes us different not from everything. everybody else we're not diddy we not exactly. we not puff dad i mean what what he call himself now diddy combs we not riding around in rose Royce. yeah rose we not Royce living in a 10 million dollar house what what who did that somebody um dang somebody just on the shade room bought they let their daughter be on a thousand dollar altar sp- Oh wow! Spree or something, some famous person. We ain't there yet. A thousand dollar altar, yes. girl. You you can you can go on altar and spend a thousand dollars. Like oh. that's that's something that that we would do. Oh. You literally just spend like four hundred dollars in there, 
and that was high, y'all. I yeah. don't know how so that part beauty gurus and right. all that stuff. I spent six hundred dollars in there one time for Lexi's freaking for four. Homecoming. No, I think I spent four hundred dollars for only four items. So I'm just confused. Like, right. So yeah, I, I, I got off. Su- I got off subject. Well, we ain't riding a Rolls Royce yet. We not living a ten million dollar house yet because we will eventually. We just not there yet. But you know, certain people that be trying to you know make her like you ain't nobody type vibes that's that's where i have an issue with so you might think that i'm doing too much but it is my job to make sure that you know your worth and you know um yeah i think another thing is y'all need to know it no females out there y'all need to stop looking for a man to know y'all worth y'all need to figure it out yourself Yourself. because speak from experience yeah me too because i don't know it's not that i like look for a man for validation yeah but at the same time i realized in myself i need to learn how to not do that because i feel like that's a big part that i'd be relying on to for somebody else like relying on a man or somebody yeah. to make me feel like you know feel i need pretty. to feel confidence in myself like you're looking for a man to say you're beautiful in order for you to feel beautiful yeah, so or, like i mean i know i'm not ugly but baby far from it you your mama's child honey hmm, period I know I'm not ugly, but I feel like that's one thing I need to work on in the future. Yeah. So, yeah, that's one it really, I feel, I feel like, like I a failed. lot of people do. I feel like I failed because it's like I made it my business. You growing up, I made it my business to always tell y'all y'all were pretty, to always make y'all feel, you know, that you are somebody and, you know, even with your sports, how I praise y'all with y'all sports. Even when your hair is messed up and you're like, oh, my hair messed up. I'll be like, you still, pe- you're like, you're still pretty. Shit, your hair will be all over your head. You're pretty. I try to instill that in y'all. And, yeah. that, and I feel like I missed it with you. I think I got it with Lexi, but I missed it with you. Um, I don't know how I missed it with you. And then I'm like, look who your daddy is. Look how your dad treats your mom. Like, you know, daddy go hard for your mama. So for yeah. you to date anybody outside of that is like, where did I fail? Did I drop her on her head when she was a baby or something? Because like, what are we doing? Like, mm-hmm. she ain't even, that's not even the example you've been given as yeah. far as a, re, a healthy relationship. Somebody told me, well, one of my friends told me, she was like, you act like you don't got no dad. Who was that friend? Let me, I need to send that friend a gift. Who was that? Who was it? It started with an A. Mm-mm. Oh, it was her too, but it, it was. was it was two people. Now nah, I think about it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know y'all why I act like that. I don't think I mean to act like that. It's just I feel like I got a lot of growing up to do. You do, cause you. you I have to. Maybe I act like that because I have to learn on my own. I don't know why the dog barking. Y'all might hear him. Yeah, he. I got to learn on my own, like, relationships and friendships and all that. I have to learn on my own. My mama can't hold my hand on everything. Yeah. So it's just learning for me. That's what like my mama said, growing pains. It is growing it's pains. It's growing pains. Yeah. So I try to stay off, and, I, and I'm and trying to do better with staying off, you know, off hands. Am I saying that right? Being yeah. offhand, is it offhand? Y'all yeah, know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to do better with that, but because we are older, one thing I'm not gonna say or I'm not gonna ever do is I'm not gonna ever stop showing you or stop voicing my opinion when I see the red flags. Now, what you do with the red flags, that's on you. I feel like even that that one situation, I get I voiced my opinions on red flags, oh, yeah, and I was she very did. boisterous about it. She did not like. She the situation we talking about. She did not like that person. I hated at all. it. I I knew she, it from the get go. I hated it. It was giving narcissists, like and I'm like somebody with that type of personality at such a young age is scary. Like that, and and for you to deal with somebody it's, with that type of it's personality so hard is to do. scary. I didn't. I I mean I know I have to learn from stuff, but that to be my first like mistake <sighs> to learn from. Oh my god, it's like. I hate narcissistic. Is that a word? Nar- narcissistic people. I think that's a word because like they make they flip everything the, like on a regular person like you're the people that hang around and stuff like that wouldn't see it in them but mm-hmm. they're true like i don't know they just hide it very good mm-hmm. so you would never know but once you f- see it oh you see it oh baby i saw that i saw that from a mile away i saw it i kind of i at, at first i thought that that's what it was i was like mm, he's giving 
narcissist, but I don't know. I don't know enough. I ain't going to say nothing. And then when I actually heard a few conversations, it was like, oh, no, nah, yeah. this is this mm-hmm. is dangerous. Because then they, they play the victim, too. Like, yeah. Like, and they play it good. Like, and, wasn't you? You was the one who was talking. Oh, okay. Play it good. They play it good. Like, they throw their hands. Mm. Wait, no. They, what is that you say? They Throw the rock and throw their hands. No, throw the rock and hide their hands. Oh, it's something like that. That's something exactly like that. what they do. <laughs> I'll they, play I ain't gonna lie, they good at it. They good at Narcissist. it. What have you thinking? What have you thinking that you tripping? What have you gaslighting you? you get, what you have you get like second guessing? You would be in your head like, damn, am Did I, I in the wrong? Yeah. Maybe I am in the wrong. Okay, I'm in the wrong. Yeah, that's that's that is that is scary. And although I never wanted you to experience somebody like that, I'm, I'm glad. glad that it happened early. So now, now, now you know how know. to avoid. Because I don't know. I feel like another thing is I feel like it's like you need to keep people that's positive around you. I yeah. shouldn't have seen the red flag when I seen all, like he was just a negative person. Mm. Like everything, like, when I tell y'all everything I do, he had a problem with it mm. or he had something to say about it. Why are we so negative? You're supposed to be uplifting me. Like right. we don't need to be nothing negative. So if y'all, y'all going to see the signs, anything negative, any person being negative to you all the time, just, just everything that you say, they got something negative. Say back. Mm, it's well. a red flag. That's Leave a red flag. Well. You want to be with somebody that when you don't believe in yourself, they believe in you. You want to be with somebody when, you know, you have dreams that are way too big for you, but they know that you can you can Still reach them, them dreams, you know, that you can achieve those dreams. You want to be with somebody that, you know, talk life into you. You want to be with somebody that... um shit what else <laughs> you were supposed to come Uh-oh. in you were supposed to back me up right. you were supposed to you need somebody some- that is gonna <laughs> encourage you that's what she's saying but basically encourage you yeah encourage you to be a better person a better a physically better you. and mentally absolutely absolutely so, i catch out with that one mm, mm. Mm-hmm. bars i mean it wasn't bars but you know <laughs> what this snapping like we had a poetry yeah thing? what was your bars Cairo don't like that so, so. Yeah, that's our take. But now that I know that you think that I do way too much. I no, will. I feel like it's like because she's a mom. She sees stuff more than we do. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, okay, mom. Mm. Now everybody out to get me. Yes. She be making it seem like everybody out to get you. They are. Not everybody. You think I think make it seem like everybody. Yes. So you don't. But it's certain people but that I, I actually see like. People, no, it is certain people that she do like. But I'm, I'm, a t- I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not dating. I'm done with the dating life. For I'm off the scene for a little minute. Amen. Everybody say amen. Amen. And like I told her before, you you can be dating some hey big name people right I, now. So. I slid in this uh, this uh, famous person DMs. I was like, um, I, I forgot what I said. I was like, you my baby. You just don't know it. Did he respond? He did respond. Oh, but guys. That's okay. One day you gonna see it. That's okay. Hey, but you know when what? When I get big, he gonna see it. The big name people, they they might be a little scary too. So maybe. Oh yeah, cause they be doing it worse than the normal people. <laughs> right. So maybe you need to stick I'm to cool. the normal people. Maybe you need to just stick to that one person that we already know got yeah. the potential and I feel got like your we back. the right people. Well, I wouldn't say I feel like we kind of like the right person, wrong timing. Yeah. I feel like since I'm in I college agree. and I'm like. Nah, I don't be at home. Yeah. Like, um, we are on two different paths right now. So, yeah, I feel like later on in life we're gonna yeah. be good for each other. But right now we just we just figuring stuff and out. I like that. So I, I like that's what y'all I think. figuring it out. I think that, but we're gonna see you in future life. Yeah, maybe if I get back in the podcast and be like, I'm I'm locked in. You. <laughs> Maybe if you have to be locked in with anybody, that's who I prefer you to be locked in with. Yeah, out of, out of your whole roster. And yeah. I don't even know everybody on your roster. She's talking. I'm not going to roster. You don't? <laughs> she ain't got I really no don't got no roster, y'all. I be... I be... <laughs> what? How should I say this? I don't text back. I don't answer the phone. <sighs> I talk to you for a little minute, and I be like, nah. Because yeah, yeah. I don't like doing that where you leave somebody on and you just, nah. 
Thank I might as well you. just leave them yes, alone. Thank you. I hate when people do that. If you if you just not if you feel like you're not interested, then you just yeah, not just, interested. Like just I'm just gonna leave you alone. Leading leading people on because you're bored. Like Yes, no. Whoo, I'm back on this again. Don't leave me on and then and then go in my head. Like what was your don't point? Find words. What was the point? You should have just stopped talking to me when I stopped talking yeah, to you. Yeah, like stop. Don't waste my time. Ooh, child. I'm glad that I have found the fun police, and we I are feel like locked dating in. in this freaking. Hey, I got friends my age that's in the dating world, and it is trash. It's tragic. I feel like nobody is. I don't know. I don't know y'all. I feel like nobody. Ooh, nobody locking in. Like it's nobody. Trash. Everybody wants to have side da da da. da. We I too feel like, old to be doing that. Well, no, y'all not. I mean, this is the age that y'all play them type of games. With men, I feel like men are not ready to actually like lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in until they like early to mid thirties. And yeah, cause they experience everything. And then I feel like like most no i'm not gonna lie some people be realizing like this stuff is old like it's yeah. old to just be some people get it earlier yeah, but it's just majority old. don't get it until like mid 30s or i'm sorry y'all cairo is yeah cairo mad at us. Mad. he wants to get off he, his yeah, climb yeah. he looking at us like y'all see me i see y'all see me so i think we're gonna have to wrap this up um plus she said she was only gonna give me 15 minutes and we we have way more than 15 minutes. Y'all, I actually cooperated. How do y'all feel? Oh, what do y'all feel about this podcast? Do what do y'all need, feel? Do y'all need Lily on the podcast a little more? Can I let them go? No, because so they, they gonna, can see. So the podcast can No, because they're going to knock over my computer but right Cairo there. But going to go that way. No, nah, Cairo way. is the worst. He is the most clumsiest. No. They're going to have to see him on the weekly vlog, which brings me to. Oh, you just going to say something? Nope. Oh, which brings me to make sure y'all check back for the weekly vlog. Uh, Vlogmas is coming up starting December y'all, 1st. I don't think my mama gonna make it. We're gonna see. You don't think I'm gonna make it for vlogs? She's not gonna vlog every day. <sighs> y'all, don't. See, you You praying on my downfall. Hey, that's already. negative energy. Let me not, let I me know, not say that. You let me not say like, that. Dang. But we're gonna see y'all. I don't I don't think she. Did you do it last year? I don't think she I missed, missed a day. I missed a couple of days oh, last year, no. but we're gonna do better this oh. year. So starting December 1st, we oh. do have Vlogmas. We're going to have a new vlog every day dropping. So make sure y'all be, check it out. I'm going to be in some. I'm going to be. I'm gonna be. Yeah, yeah she's going to be in some. I'm going to make it in half the vlogmas. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I don't come back to school until like the 15th or something. So yeah. half the vlogmas. And yeah, I'm going to get back to work too because I got to get some Christmas gifts for my. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all, I'm single. <laughs> single. If you don't see your promise ring on here, I ain't got no boyfriend. Oh, Lord. So make sure y'all comment any other topics y'all want to see or hear, depending on if y'all watching on the YouTube or if, if, y- if y'all on, iP- uh, what is it, I- Apple, iPad or Spotify oh, or whatever. you actually listen on there? Yeah, they, the other podcasts are on there. Oh, Apple oh, and stuff. I did not know that, y'all. See? I thought you could only watch it on YouTube. I'm no, not I put lie. it on both. Because some people, I'm a visualist, so I like to watch my podcast, but some people be like working and in the car and stuff and they just want to listen. Listen, so yeah, it's on Apple. So make sure y'all tune in on say, Apple okay, or Spotify. Um, but leave down any other topics that y'all want to hear me and Aaliyah talk about. Um, I got best friend coming. Best friend is gonna be on the podcast real, real, real soon. We're gonna get real deep soon. and dirty and real some soon. some good, some good uh tea with best friend. Um, but yeah, this is the end of this podcast, y'all. Thanks Cairo. for yeah, Cairo is he is sick of us. Um, thank you for listening. Listening, um, and I guess until next time.